Hello everyone, today we'll be covering the complete lore of the Miyana units. This will be everything from how they perform in combat, notes that mention them, info from the debugger and code, and finally, dialogue from BO. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. MNHR units are Mianharbeit Nuclear Technique Hoshiheits replicas, more commonly known as Mianas, are Generation 3 Industrial Specialist replicas. These units are used in the mines below Sipiansk and across the Yusan nation. Their name is a reference to a type of bird called a Myina, and in English, their official name translates to MNHR Unit Mining Nuclear High Security Replica. The first instance where we see this hulking replica is during their boss fight. They are the first boss fight of the game, occurring after you gather all of the keys from the hospital wing and open the door to the surgery room. Then, you can descend down to the surgery room on the fourth floor, where you can fight this boss. The boss form of Myina has 200 HP, and fires a large mining rifle. Myina will also summon in Ara units from the floor, which will attack Elster. Myina's mining laser has to charge up before firing, she will aim the laser at you, where it's being aimed can be noted by the red laser, and then fire it. The progress of the charge of the laser can be seen on the model of the laser. When it finishes charging, it will immediately fire. Attempt to dodge the lasers round around this point. Continue to dodge the lasers will eventually cause Miyana to fall onto the ground and spew blood all over the floor. The blood will spread out across the floor, and as this happens, you will be able to shoot into the visor of the Miyana and deal damage to it. It should be noted that during the boss fight's cutscene, we can see the Miyana's face fall out. Also during this cutscene, we see replica database screen pop up. Translating it reads, Frame Type S4, Non-Combatant, Servo-Controlled Special Modules, NUK, LSS, HYD, FKS, NAV, Squad Size 8. Also, while fighting the boss, it summons the auto units using the following text that appears on screen. Myana S2305 requests assistance, Arcata which reveals the boss's actual name as Myina S2305. Following the boss fight, we face no Myina units until the mines, where we face a singular unit next to the hatch that leads to the end of that zone. This fight can be handled just like the first one if one wishes, or if one would rather avoid the fight entirely, they can just wait for the hatch to open and jump down it without killing the Myina. We face another Myina unit in Nowhere where they are located next to the small wooden doll. One can attempt to avoid them and just grab the doll regardless. If one wants to fight the Myinas, their best bet would be to use a flare gun, as a single shot from a flare gun during its damage phase will kill it, as well as play a unique animation. However, if one wishes to conserve their flares for other enemies, using the rifle would be the next best bet. Usually when fighting a Myina, there will be other weaker replicas in the area, and it is suggested to eliminate them first so you can focus your efforts on the Myina unit. It is theorized that the throwing up during the damage phase is actually the puking of worms, as there is a warning in the game referring to such an action, and this is the only event that it possibly could be referring to. If true, then it would suggest that there are worms inside the Myina suit eating it from the inside out. Moving from them in combat, we can cover the lore behind them, starting off with their overview page. They have a mechanical with high security reinforced armor plated servo shell frame that gives them their signature look. This note also hints at the Sapir variant, reading as follows. When it comes to dangerous cargo, heavy machinery, and hazardous environments, no other model rivals the Myina units with their high security power armor bodies. Even in lethal radiation, under crushing pressure, and in zero G, they keep their calm demeanor and show exemplary teamwork. Despite their hulking bodies, underneath their face shields, a standard Generation 3 cranial construction can be found, making maintenance and social interfering as easy as with any other replica model. Please note that the Myina neural pattern is not suited for combat use. For combat applications, the Sapir variant should be used, which employs a combat-capable persona in the same frame. For more information, see Schwer Antipanzer Replica Schnapper. We can learn more about the problems this unit faces by checking out its replica known issues page, which reads as follows. This neural pattern is extremely stable. Little has to be done to keep Myinas happy. They get along well with most other models thanks to their sometimes submissive, sometimes motherly personality. Unlike other models, diary keeping is not mandatory for persona stabilization. 
Stuffed animals can be given as fetish objects, though those resembling cats should be avoided as they may cause resurfacing of gestalt memories. That note explains why we don't have any diaries that are written from the perspectives of the Myinas, and also why there isn't a lot of notes about them in general. Finally, we can look at the propaganda poster used by Aeon for the Mana units. This can be found in the mine's office room and is a stylized depiction of these hulking miners. Speaking of the mines, the mines are a location that are heavily connected to the Myina units, and it is where we would most likely see them employed the most. Despite this, we only see two Myina units in the mines, one at the end of the level guarding the hatch, and the other being Bio. In the mines, we can interact with the high-powered mining lasers that the Myinas use, and it will reveal the following. High-powered mining lasers. They're too large and heavy for me to use. Now for the point a lot of you have been waiting for. Bio. Bio is a fan favorite character and is the only uncorrupted Myina in the game. She is found in the mines and she is in a state of disrepair, most likely heading towards a certain demise. Speaking with her, she says the following. Ah, oh, hello. You're not a protector, are you? What brings you here? I'm Bio. If you're down here, you're probably looking for something. I'd help you, but one of my hydraulics failed and I can't move. I'm pretty much done for, so you can just leave me here. There's no point repairing an old unit like me, so don't worry about it, okay? It'd be a waste of resources. I'd offer you my mining laser, but I don't think your frame could handle the power output. You're probably better off using a gun. There should be some useful equipment in the mining office, it's just south of here. Don't worry about me. There are many replacements. Which is replicas after all, right? In the end, what's one drop to an ocean? When I die, they'll just make another. Thank you for talking to me. I hope you can find what you're looking for. Going into the code, one can find that Bio's official name is MHNR S2301. Also, it can be noted that unlike all other Myinas, the blood around Bio does not resemble worms, and instead looks more like actual blood, likely signifying that she is not infected and that the only thing that would kill her here is the hydraulic failure. But with that, I've covered every detail we have on these Hulking Goliaths. They are a rather cool boss, fun mini boss, and have lore that makes us feel even worse for killing them. While we can't heal Bio, at least we can help put her sisters to rest and find some solstice that way. But that's all I've got for you guys today. If you like this type of content, feel free to subscribe or join either my Discord linked below called VSL or the r Signalis Discord, which will also be linked below. Both are amazing places where you can find others to talk about this game too, and I've been loving the discussions that's been going on about both. So, this has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time.